Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to stream to multiple different platforms at the same time using Streamlabs OBS. And this will include DLive, Twitch, Mixer, Facebook, YouTube. So if you want to stream on all the different platforms at the same time, this is the video for you. So this is going to be a very quick and easy tutorial video for you guys to understand and follow. So the first thing we're going to need to do is get a stream key that will allow us to stream to all those platforms at the same time. So let's go ahead and open up an internet browser. I'm going to go ahead and open Google Chrome right now. And then in the address bar, let's go ahead and type this website in. It will be restream.io. Once you have that entered in, go ahead and hit enter. And it will bring you to this page. Go ahead, make an account, log in. Once you do, this is what you'll be greeted with. As you can see, I have Twitch, Mixer, DLive, and my YouTube account all on Restream right now. And I'm able to multi-stream on here with this website. So it's very easy to add channels. Go ahead and hit the Add Channels button. You'll be able to add your Facebook, Mixer, Twitch, YouTube. Now some of these, you will have to have a premium membership, but stream to Mixer, Twitch, YouTube, DLive, you will not. And your personal Facebook account will be free. And then it's very easy to add your channel. Once you select the platform you want to stream to, literally just hit the connect button, log in with your credentials, and it will automatically transfer over any kind of information from there on out. So there's a ton of different websites you can stream to. And another great thing is, if you go over to titles, you can update your titles to all the different websites all in one easy swoop. So if I want to enter a new stream title in here, I'll just put Black Ops 4 Gameplay and then hit Update All. And as you can see, it updated my stream title to all the different platforms. And then you can select the game on the right-hand side. Let's go ahead and select Call of Duty Black Ops 4 and hit Update All. Now, the only one you might have some issues with will be YouTube. You can change the title on here, but I don't believe you can change the game. Then if you go over to social alerts at the top, if you want to send out a message when you go live to Twitter, Discord, or Facebook, you can set that up in this location here. Now, another great, amazing feature about using Restream is if you go over to the chat option, you can download this client. Otherwise, you can open it up in a web browser. And you can link all your chats from DLive, YouTube, Twitch, Mixer, all in one easy chat. So I have this downloaded on my computer. I'm going to open it up. So this is the Restream chat right here. And this will link all your different chats across the different platforms in one kind of browser. And you'll see which platform it gets sent to right up here. It will send to Mixer, YouTube, Twitch, and DLive. And you'll have different options on here in different settings. So go ahead and make sure everything is set up for you. You can even change the appearance so if you don't like this dark blue background. And then you have your analytics from all your different streams on here. Now let's go ahead and get this stream key copied in and transferred over to Streamlabs OBS. So on the right hand side, you can see an option for stream key. Let's go ahead and copy the stream key by hitting this copy key section right here. So we have that copied. Let's go ahead and exit out of here. And I have Streamlabs OBS open. Let's go down to the settings section in the bottom left hand side of the screen. Now let's go over to stream. And we will want to select the service called Restream RTMP. So once we have that selected, go ahead and copy and paste your stream key right here and hit done. Now, when you hit the go live button on Streamlabs OBS, you'll be broadcasting your gameplay, your live stream to every platform you want. So if this video did indeed help you out, go ahead and leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more Streamlabs OBS tutorials coming up next on Your Six Studios.